in the midst of this, when the church had five people, when I'm being persecuted, lies being made up about me, years gone past, I renewed my mind. God has given me this grace to have the honor of being a vessel of his anointing. And so I understand that it is going to take quite a refinement for me to be able to walk in this calling. The bigger the calling, the bigger the process, the bigger the cost, the more fiery the refining fire, the harder the pressing. So I renewed my mind to that truth. So I was like, wow, I'm so honored to have this amazing calling and walk in this anointing. I'm not seeing it yet, but I believe it. that It's coming. I am so honored. And I know, I humble myself that I have work to do. I humble myself that I don't even know what God has to do for me to be able to walk in that calling. I don't know, but God knows. And I read the Bible and I see that every single anointed vessel has to go through really hard things. They have to go through suffering. They are persecuted. They have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. So I renewed my mind with the word of God. I renewed my mind about the story of Joseph and the story of David. And I renewed my mind that this is part of it. I have to go through this. This is what God wants for me now. This is his will now. The wilderness right now is his will. And I just want his will. So no matter if I'm on the mountaintop or the valley, no matter if I'm in the wilderness or the promised land, I am content there because that is God's will. When it's wilderness time, that's God's will. I'm content there. And when it's promised land time, I'm not content because, woo, my dreams came true and it's exciting now. I'm content because it's God's will. That's the real contentment. I humbled myself. Lord, whatever I need to go through, just do it. I willingly and joyfully say yes. Even if it were to take 50 years, I, I still don't deserve to receive this anointing and have the, my purpose fulfilled. I don't deserve that even after 50 years of going through suffering and hardship. And so who am I to feel like, oh, I'm doing all of this, I'm going through all of this and the promise isn't here yet. Woe is me, people should see how hard this is. You know, like those are the feelings that you, you can have. And so I renew my mind, like who am I? Your will, Lord, I just want your will. I would pray these things with tears. I just want your will, Lord. Do what you have to do, no matter how long it takes.